Hey YouTube, this is Mr. C. Wang. Uh, I've just completed my GoFundMe and we're gonna film uh, the Blended Burger guest stars today. I would probably call this a night shame and an unboxing, but really this is a big mistake. I'd like to thank my donors, Scott Assen, Alex Lee, and Shin Ma Wu for donating to me and uh, helping us make this happen today. So, White Spot every year has its annual Burger Guest Stars promo, and this year, Christmas came early, because normally it's around Christmas time. And we have the, oh my goodness, where did my phone go? Whatever. Here's a, a truffle mushroom. I think that's the steakhouse. Uh, let's call that goat cheese. Chicken, almond batter, chicken something, and this is their, uh, Salmon entry. There's no vegetarian entry this year, and we're gonna be uh, blending it with a uh, our Blendtec Classic 570 Wild Side Jar. Any questions from the audience? Can it handle it? Can the Blendtec handle it? Uh, yeah, I think it, I think it'll blend no problem. Which one do you want to taste first? I'm gonna do the almond one last. Actually, I should do the almond one first. Nah, fuck it. I'm do the almond one last, because that's the one I haven't tasted, and I want to ruin my palate before tasting it. Um, so let's do it before and after with each. So we're going to be blending half of each. Uh, yeah, I was warned by White Spot that these do not cut very well, because they're, they're all bigger burgers this season. This burger season, so cross-section as we do sometimes. How's that taste? Is this the truffle one? Or the mushroom one? Definitely very mushroomy, very earthy mushrooms. A bit peaty. Okay. Let's start. Um, do you need the smoothie setting? I think we'll just go high. Yeah, sorry. What are you adding? This is a Metamucil, so I can do later. We're a probiotic. And a multivitamin. Well, let's do gravy later, if it, depending on the consistency. So it's on. Uh, yeah, let's just pulse this. Okay, we're gonna use our uh, Umora One, also crowdfunded technology. still make out kind of the meat, but I might have put too many pills in here. Man, this might be overkill. I definitely put in too much water. Is it better than a protein shake? It's not the worst thing I've blended in here, for sure. Uh, yeah, we can definitely test the taste, the chef's uh, a faint memory of what the chef intended, because you know it still tastes like a burger, but it's put too much water in here, so <laughs> I'll do less next time. Still getting a lot of truffles. Which is nice. It's also good that I wore elastic waist pants and a shirt I got for free, which at one point was way too large for me from a video game convention. Was it better solid or liquid? Definitely solid. Definitely solid. So how are you gonna improve your next recipe? Your next blend. Less water for sure. Let's put in the pills right now. 
actually, we're not going to do an extra centrum because you don't want to get too much of that. And actually, I think I have enough of this too. Just probiotics from now on. Okay. This is the Steakhouse um, Bigger Burger. It's got um, like onion rings inside. Uh, what kind of cheese is this? Where's my phone? Oh, here it is. Steakhouse Supreme Bigger Burger, six ounce, hundred percent fresh Canadian beef burger with red wine, barbecue sauce, horseradish, horseradish, cheddar, haystack onions. Those are the um, onion rings I mentioned earlier. Arugula. Tomato and a regular aioli served with fries and a soft drink. Um, so this is the aioli we tasted uh, when we did the test menu at White Spot, or it's very similar. Um, it's got more dill, I think, than anything, or maybe that's the salmon burger. But I was a big fan of that sauce, and I'm really happy that they brought it back. So it's got a palate cleanser. The is actually really nice in here. It's got kind of that um, bitterness you expect from, you know, the, the super super leaves, kale, it's charred. Well, actually, it was very nice with the smooth aioli. Which is, on second bite, even more refreshing than the first. Just a splash, right? Yeah, just a splash. Uh, it looks like we have a quinoa salad, so I don't think I added enough water in here. It smells great, though. There was a method to the water before. Probably too much bread. That was terrifying. Um, make sure this stops. Looks like you might need a spoon. Once again, I'd like to thank my donors, Scott Assen, Alex Lee, and Shin Ma Wu for uh, helping me uh, realize my dreams here today. I always dreamed of spooning a mock quinoa salad out of a blend tech. Those wild side jars really coming in handy though. Play some really grim music over this. We've learned our lesson. Need more water. Do you want a spoon of this? Yeah, there's nose around the room. So this one actually tastes more like a chowder because we put less water in it, it's a lot thicker. It still retained a lot of its, uh, the freshness I described earlier. Yeah, it's like a really good um, breakfast porridge. So watch out, BC Sunny Start. Do you think it'll help you digest better because it's broken down for you? If anything, it starts to make my jaw weaker. Through like less practice, I don't know. 
I don't think this will digest any easier. Yeah, it's like it's a kanji burger. No humo sound. Mm. Oh, the smokiness is coming up, and there's a bit of um, the haystack onion. How's it compare with the first one? Oh, the last water was physically closer to the solidness of the original burger. Definitely an improvement. Flavor wise, I do think. The truffle, like they're doing a really good job of highlighting the uh, feature flavor. So the truffles are really nice. The onions and the oleo, arugula are really nice. So good job, my Great job. You should blend it as a combo. Mm -hmm. With coke and fries. <laughs> yeah, let's try that one. Do you think you can eat more because you blended two, two halves of the burger? I think I can eat more because I'm disgusting. So this is the turkey goat cheese, I think this is a goat cheese and turkey burger. Sriracha, sriracha goat cheese turkey burger. The official description is... Oh my god. Are you I'm feeling gonna, it? I'm gonna fall asleep. Our char-grilled PC turkey patty topped with Happy Days goat cheese from the Okanagan mixed with sriracha sauce, bacon, apple relish, arugula, tomato, and mayo served with fries and a soft drink. Suck. Oh, brown. This one is really, ooh, it's very creamy. And the sriracha just accents it at the very end. Um, the honey bear, the closest thing, I can, the best description I can give right now is kind of that it tastes like um, a smoked breakfast sausage. So it's actually pretty nice. So, got some jus. I'm gonna try that. Maybe it'll keep it uh, wet but still meaty. Uh, I probably should have done this one in the beef burgers, but. Ooh, those onions. The sauteed onions in there. Really good job. Do you go to your preferred white spot? Um, I went to the most convenient white spot, which from this location is the uh, Gilmore and Lowy location. They have a drive-in, old school like the one in Kits. Mm. I don't know what my preferred white spot is anymore. I think I can smell the blades burn. Ooh. Okay, this is a mistake. This is all a mistake. Okay, again, it's like the salad, so I think we can throw in some more beef jus. Just throw it all in. Do our audience members feel like vomiting yet? It looks like baby puke. Oh, okay. I've, I've felt uncomfortable for a while now. <laughs> Especially when you pour the brown au oh, jus. The, the smell in this room is interesting. <laughs> Would it be better on a juice, uh, on a soup setting on the blend tech? Is there such a thing? There's the heat setting. Yeah. It just warms it up. Oh, yeah. Like, no, there's just... also the smoothie setting. And it's slower though, no? The smoothie setting would pulverize it more, but it also takes 90 seconds, and I don't want to put out like a 40 minute video on YouTube. Oh, this is good. That uh, jus really turned up. Mm, yeah. Texture is real good. It looks like a, 
Thousand Island sauce. Or oh, something. look at that come out. <laughs> tuna. Thousand Island sauce and tuna. So, would you recommend this for a protein shake right before a hike? No, absolutely not. After a hike? Maybe. Would you recommend it for anything? <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it but for the original burger. So far, this has been an awful experiment. The zoo was a great addition. I can still taste, I think there's like some fruit, there might be pineapple in this one. But. Could you taste that before? Yes. I just, I don't, did not have the correct bite. Do you still taste the sriracha? I definitely taste the the breakfast sausage flavor that I was mentioning earlier. Oh, and at the end, my tongue's tingling a bit based on uh, from the heat of the sriracha, but it's pretty mild at this point. How are you feeling halfway through this now? So I think I've only had probably two oh, burgers yeah. right now. Yeah. Three bites and two blended, three look. Definitely slower. Do you weigh in yourself before and after? I don't want to weigh myself these days. This shirt used to be baggy. <laughs> And just those are the lowest pits of human disparity. This is still very creamy. It holds up. This one definitely holds up. I recommend beef jus for everyone. It's getting really hard to watch you eat this. It's getting thicker and thicker. Through all the water, the next one's a fish burger. This one is the Johnston Creek. Johnston Straight Salmon Burger, Wild Johnston Straight Salmon Filet with pickled onions, tartar sauce, BC arugula, vine ripened tomatoes, and mayo on our signature bun. <sighs> Where's that Coke? Do we have Coke or something? It's in the fridge. fridge. Well, forget it. Forget it. We'll get it. In. We'll get it later. Except forget it. Whatever. No one respects me. This is why I do burgers for attention. Yeah, I've had all of these with the exception of the almonds to date. Uh, we're gonna blend the smaller side because I don't hate myself that much. So these onions are closer to raw, they're cool. I don't know if it's a result of just doing this experiment, but White Spot's onion game is on point this year. <laughs> one bite, one bite for fun. Um, it's pretty good, I'll just put this side in. Yeah. That's pretty smart. Just... Then you guys can eat the other halves. Yeah. No, you're not gonna eat the other halves? Where my leg go? Right beside the side. Oh, thank you. Is all the meat getting to your brain? It's all the bread. Yeah. How's this 
smell? What's that like salmon? Like a bisque? Ooh. Uh, uh, ooh is not. Maybe that ain't soup salmon more than good for us. Yeah. Uh, it says a classic, I don't have a soup salmon. Smoothie, low, medium, high, hot. And pulse. Hot. Chowder. The smell and the color are all good, but again, we put too much water into this one. You win some, you lose some, but it's much more drinkable because water. Serious hospitals burn to be general. <laughs> Where's your pen? Uh, I think it's in that bag. You have your healthcare card, right? No, well, but take me to VGH. Burn to be smells. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Okay, I feel awful, and we need to reshoot something, but good thing we didn't miss out on anything. Crispy almond chicken burger. It's the one burger guest star I haven't had in the now one and a half old promotion. Let's get you a straw. Our crispy glazed tempura battered BC chicken breast in our sweet and sour sauce with toasted almonds, iceberg lettuce, so bad lettuce, red onion, and lemon cilantro mayo. Just, yeah, as much noise as possible off screen. Thanks so much. We're making a blender video, I don't care. Okay, we're also gonna... Yeah, I, I'm at about like... I'm way well beyond the daily caloric count at this point, but here we go. We're gonna go with the smaller one in my left hand, but you can see the tempura battered. And I can't actually make out the almonds, but it looks like they put arugula in this one as well. Very crispy. This is your most anticipated? This is the one I haven't had yet. I think this one's just benefiting from all the other ones, which have had very strong onions, very good, um, all the greens, but I don't know how I feel about the battered chicken. It's a bit rich. Since I said it's a bit rich, let's not do the almond. Let's just do water. The almond, I mean gravy. contaminate the flavors. Yep, too much water. So, from youtube.com slash Mr. C Wang, Please subscribe for more unboxings, night shames, huge mistakes, and low-level dodgeball play. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, oh that's terrible. That was the last one. 
I hope I don't vomit because I don't want that going online. <laughs> okay, so we just had this monstrosity and now we've got to clean it out. So we're going to do two Metamucils. I don't know why I used the lid. We're going to do five coleslaws. So their coleslaw is you know, standard fare. German cabbages, carrots. And I don't get how they do the thin mayonnaise. That's the best. I think they probably cut it with vinegar. I'm no chef. But I need a palate cleanser. YOLO! Oh, that's off. Is it off? Yeah, it's off. YOLO! YOLO! And it tastes like a muscle. Mm. It's like, a, like the worst borscht I've ever had. For more unboxings, apparently blender videos, night shames, whatever the heck this is. And love of the dodgeball place, subscribe to youtube.com slash Mr. Seaway.